still going, huh? End of the free. Back at it again, guys. Buster your Brown conservative. So we got to talk about this disastrous home run derby uh, national anthem that was sung by a country singer that goes by the name of Ingrid Andres. So she has the cajones to do it, but she didn't have the pipes to follow through. Let's take a look. Country music star Ingrid Andrus is getting some unwanted attention for her rendition of the Star Spangled Banner that she sang at the Home Run Derby last night. Take a look. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that I fled. I get you want to put your uh, your own spin on the national anthem, but um, maybe too many spins there. I think, I think you should pick a key signature for the musicians out there. Uh, well, okay, that was uh, that was interesting. There, people say it was worse than Fergie's national anthem in 2018. Remember that one? Yeah. This is pretty yeah. much yeah. the worst yeah. video ever made. As usual as well. And even yeah. worse, Roseanne Barr's performance at the Padres game in 1990. That was the. I mean, she was trying to sound. Yeah, I bad. think the Roseanne Barr thing was. I mean, she's not a singer, so it's, I suppose it I wasn't choose. quite as unusual to. Like, I wouldn't be great at it. But yeah. That's but you could, it. you could do that. You could do that. I think you've done better than that. And I know you're not. I've never really even heard you sing. I've known you for almost 20 years. Yeah, no, I, I don't know, think I've Rose heard you sing too. once. Nope. But I but think you would have done better. Rap a, <laughs> <laughs> I've heard her rap a little job world, Dan. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Especially the job world. Yeah, some Tupac. But you can't get her to sing. We've had some good times. Man, that was brutal, man. Uh, I mean, first of all, hats off to her. She got up. She did the thing. You know, more balls than me because I ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? Are you going to do it? I doubt you would. But if you give an opportunity, I'd be like, nah, let's give it to a real singer. I don't got the vocal range for that. Some of these singers, they got it. Nine times out of ten, a singer who can sing don't need to do, oh, I don't know. Maybe I can do it. Maybe I can. not No, no, you can do it. You stay in the box where you can hit these notes. And if you can't, you don't push yourself. Uh, Ingrid Andress, she uh, pushed herself a little too far. You heard the little crackly. Eh, you know what I'm saying? It got crackly up there. You know what I'm saying? Hats off to her, but still, it was a pathetic attempt for the national anthem. Anyway, let's go to CNN because uh, they actually wrote something about this. Uh, I'm going to CNN because it's a country uh, singer, and they don't like country singers probably, so. Let's read this. Ingrid Andres says she's checking into rehab after a viral national anthem performance. Quote, I was drunk last night. So Ingrid's excuse is not, hey, I don't got the pipes to do that. It's, hey, I'm an alcoholic and I'm going to go to rehab. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work out if you don't got the pipes. Just say you don't got it. You know what I'm saying? Just because you got a producer who can make you sound amazing. Don't mean you need to get up there and do the national anthem or perform your own song, just like some of these new singers do nowadays. They don't even perform their own song. They just play it, and they're basically like their hype man in the back, shouting a couple lyrics, whatever, because they know, hey, uh, I can't get my producer to come out here and mix my voice up just how he did it in the song because it's going to be two different voices. Some singers you will see in person, you're like, man, that guy's good. Like me and my wife went and saw The weekend two years ago at AT&T Stadium, and this dude just blew our freaking faces off. He was just as good as he was in his songs. Real good, stout singer. He's got the vocal range. I'm sure he, put, he probably could have did the national anthem pretty good. I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he did even better than anyone else. Who knows? I don't know. But what I'm saying is that he's a good singer, and Ingrid just don't got it. You know, She just don't have the vocal range, unfortunately. Country music artist Ingrid Andres says she was intoxicated during her much-criticized performance of the National Anthem on Monday at the 2024 MLB Home Run Derby and will be seeking treatment. Yeah, okay, we got an excuse there. Come on, dude. On Tuesday, Andres posted a statement on her verified social media account, writing, quote, I'm not going to bullshit, y'all. I was drunk last night. Mm. That's bullshitting, y'all, right there. Right there. 
Whenever someone hits you with the I'm not going to or the but, you know some BS is about to come through. Quote, I'm checking myself into the facility today to get help. I need you, bro. Uh, quote, that was not me last night. I'll apologize to MLB and all the fans and this country I love so much for that rendition. You don't got nothing to apologize, Ingrid. You don't got it, which is completely fine. You gave it your best shot. That's okay. Like I said, I ain't, I ain't about to go up there. And, and the Rockies, I ain't got, I'm not about to do that. I don't got it. That ain't me. And if you don't got it, why do it? And hurt everyone's eardrums and, you know, soil the Star Spangled Banner. But at least she actually sung the Star Spangled Banner. She didn't do some, you know, Mexican Spangled Banner, purple, whatever, black Spangled. Like, like she didn't spin it to something, you know, it goes to culture or race. She stuck to the American version of the Star Spangled Banner, which I think is great. So, you know, props to her for that. You know, pat on the back, Ingrid. Uh, she ended the note saying she would let y'all know how rehab is. I hear it's super fun. Yeah, it's probably fun because everyone else in there is also an addict and they probably got a lot of crazy stories. And if you've ever been addicted to some, which I never have, you know that these addicts do some crazy stuff to fuel their addiction. They got tons of stories. Never-ending stories like Roseanne Barr's performance at the 1990 San Diego Padres versus Cincinnati Reds game and Fergie at the 2018 NBA All-Star game. People have had a great deal to say about Andres' rendition. What? They let Roseanne Barr do the national anthem? She's not even a singer. She, she probably was drunk. I wouldn't be surprised if Roseanne Barr was actually drunk because how are you going to get up there and you're a comedian and you about to sing? No, I don't think so. Fergie, she's a singer, but man, she did some weird, weird pitchy stuff during that. It was kind of strange. She did a little better than, you know, Ingrid. Here's more about the singer rally. TV Andress had her first brush with fame when she performed in the second season of NBC, a capella singing uh, competition, the Sing Off, as part of a group known as Pitch Slapped. In 2010, the group was eliminated early on, but Andres returned to the show the next season as part of the group of Delilah. The season of a series was famously won by a group, Pentatonix. <clears throat> She's now a country singer. Andres has debuted in her first album, Ladylike, in 2020. It reached number one on Billboard's Emerging Artist chart. A year prior, single More Hearts Than Mine hit the Billboard Hot 100. She landed back on a chart in 2021 thanks to the single Wishful Drinking with Sam Hunt. Uh, Grammy nominations. Andres was nominated for the Best New Artist Grammy in 2021, though she ultimately lost to rapper Megan Thee Stallion. Ladylike was also nominated for the Best Country Album, while her song More Hearts Than Mine was nominated for Best Country Song. Two years later, Wishful Drinking scored a Best Country Duo slash Group Performance Grammy nomination. So, I mean, she's obviously spinning some good stuff on the tracks in the, the booth. You know what I'm saying? If you get a good producer, you got someone that can do the beats, that can make you sound phenomenal. They can make someone who's a whisper singer like Billy Eilish sound like the freaking best singer that ever been and ever was. You know what I'm saying? She don't got the pipes as well, which, I don't know, maybe she might do better than uh, Ind uh, Ingrid as far as national anthem, but... Who knows? And she hasn't done it before. And she does props to her because I wouldn't do that. I ain't going to disgrace the Star Spangled, uh, Star Spangled Banner with my crappy voice. But anyway, that's the Ingrid Andress. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe to the rest of you. Peace.